Shake that up for me, if you would, please. What happened? At least for the day, Spicker Middle School's media center became a chemistry lab for these seventh and eighth graders. For the light absorbed for the unknown. So they're using instruments called spectrophotometers that measure how much light gets absorbed by solutions that have a color. And so we can put in their hands different solutions that they can prepare from food coloring and water and then make measurements to see what is the relationship mathematically. They made note of each chemical reaction, one drop at a time. We were putting water in the test tubes and then adding dye to it, and then we put it in this special machine that tells us how much light was being absorbed into the colored dye. The goal is to help students to see that what's on paper or a calculator can lead to a possible career in science, technology, engineering, or math. It's like getting out of math class and then we get to learn more math. So it's like really cool and then you're adding science into it and we're getting to learn about how you can use this in real life. It's a lesson the principal believes is already making a difference. And to see them really engaged, hands on infusing science with math to really talk about how they can improve our overall environment is outstanding. Yes. Or first putting the water in so I could have went above the third below. Outstanding and long lasting for a new generation of learners. Now, the Towson professor working with those middle school students is a recipient of a half a million dollar National Science Foundation grant.